Hi guys, welcome to my new channel. My name's Jacob, and today I'm going to be planting some broccoli. Alright, so these are my um, broccoli seedlings that I have uh, got. So I planted these about two weeks ago in my seed raising mix, which um, I'll, I'll make a video about how I make that. Um, so, yep, I've got two varieties. One is broccoli Waltham, one is an Italian variety. But I made a schoolboy error and forgot to put which uh, the labels in for which one's which, but one variety is in this row, the other one is in this row. So I plant one row here and one row just next to it. Um, so this bed is about four months old, so it's a fairly new bed and I haven't planted anything in it except a crop of corn in the middle there which is out of the camera's view. Um, and so I've just been adding lots of sheep manure and blood and bone into it and just allowing that to break down into the soil, get the uh, microorganisms active um, and just so yeah, really trying to build up the soil because the broccoli is a part of the brassica family, so they're quite um, greedy plants, so they need to be fed a lot. So, I'll be planting these uh, about 40 centimeters apart um, in rows which are about 40 to 50 centimeters apart. So, um, I've sowed two seeds in each, um, so they've both of them have germinated every single one except two. Um, so I'll just be planting out the strongest ones and I'll be then with the um, other seedlings I'll be either planting them um, later on or I'll most likely give them to some family and friends so they can plant them as well um, so I don't waste any. So you just come out. They've got a good fibrous root system at the moment. Um, so they're up to their true leaves, which is uh, when they germinate they have two leaves, but then the next set of leaves after that, that's their true leaves. So I usually like to plant them then, so they're not too big. And these usually transplant well, so that's why you use sow them in punnets to um, give them a good start. So this would be how I'm planting them. Um, yep, they're out. Yep. 40 centimeters apart and yeah, a bit under 50 in um, the rows. Um, and then also then probably about a month later, I'll be planting another row of each. Right, so I always like to just tease out the roots a bit, but they already are because I had to separate um, most of them. You just dig it. Um, so it's the same depth as it was planted. And if you ever need to hold it, always hold it by the leaf, not the stem. Because if you bruise the leaf, well, it doesn't matter because there will be plenty of other leaves so the um, plant can get its energy from. But if you hold it by the stem, it can bruise the stem so um, there will be a less water transport and it can kill the plant. So it's always best to hold it by the leaf if you have to ever hold the plant. Make sure you always also just push it in firmly. Like, you just put your hand around and push in. So that way, if you... This is the test. So if the leaf pulls off, um, without the plant coming out, then uh, you know you've put it in, um, it's in firmly. These guys get a bit of a song as well. Blood and Bone, my favourite fertiliser of all. Slow release, doesn't contain too much nitrogen. Um, which is good because too much nitrogen it'll be all leaves and um no uh you know like fruit so i never really sprinkle it too close to the plant sprinkle it like that So by the time the blood and bone breaks down, it will be probably about a month before um, the plant's roots can uptake all the nutrients from it. So that's why it's a good slow release fertilizer. So when I do it now, after about a month, they'll really start to get a kick along. All right, then um, all I have to do is uh, mulch it and then uh, water, water it in really nice and deeply. Okay, so the mulch I'll be using is sugarcane because for me it's cheap. Um, and it's just really good and reliable. So you just 
sprinkle it around the base of the plant. Don't um, put it around the like the collar or the um, stem of the plant because if anything organic touches um, the plant's like um, stem, it can end up in collar rot. So the stem actually rots away, um, and it can lead to a whole bunch of either fungal diseases or um, or the plant will die. I'll just give it a good watering. Also, it's good to water the mulch so it stays in place. And the winds, if you have any, like here in Portland, winds can get up to 100 kilometers per hour. Um, so it's always good to water the mulch so it keeps it down. And in the water, I've got um, seaweed extract, seaweed solution, sea salt. Um, and this really helps um, the plants just to settle in nicely, stops them stops the plant from getting transplant shock and it's got heaps of um, minerals that, um, that the plant needs. So these guys should be ready um, in about four months um, I'll harvest them uh, so I'll just keep videos posted up um, about uh, these little broccolis um, and also just other videos that I'll be taking about just um, planting fruits and vegetables um, just garden updates and also um, just some tips uh, that I've learnt over the years. Um, so yeah, um, thanks for watching, really um, appreciate it if you did. Uh, so yeah, if you liked it, please leave a big thumbs up and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe as well. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.